Good afternoon and welcome to sit down with Father John. We are beginning the month of July and July has always been a very happy month when I come to America. My first visit to America was 44 years ago when I celebrated my first Mass on Independence Day, the 200th anniversary of the independence of America in New York. And in New York you had the big boat parade on the River Hudson, a tremendous celebration. And that means we're now 244 days, 244 years of independence. One thing of independence does for, Amer for a lot of people I said America means that America is a very tolerant people of all nations. That you always welcome the stranger and many peoples have come to America to be welcomed and start a new life. As many Irish people came to Ellis Island and were greeted by the Statue of Liberty in starting a new life. I remember bringing my father when he was 80 to America and one of the one things he wanted to do, see when he was in New York was to see the Statue of Liberty. So I brought him on the circle line and when I reached the circle line, reached the Statue of Liberty, tears came to my father and my mother says, what's he at again? And I asked my father, what are the meaning of the tears? And he said when he was growing up in Ireland, back in the early part of the last century, jobs were scarce and many of the people he was at school with had to immigrate to America, work hard and send money back to Ireland to help the people in Ireland prosper. And when he saw that, when he saw the Statue of Liberty, he not only saw that, he saw all of his schoolmates who came to America and it was a, a big memory for him. Today, we're only four months away from the new election. And one of the great things about the new election coming up is we forget one thing that's happening is we need to have more civility in our lives. And civility means to be more tolerant of each other. That's religious tolerance, religious freedom, freedom of speech for everybody. And freedom of speech for everybody means that each one listens to each other with tolerance. And really, what do we mean by civility? Civility, as the United States Bishop tells us, Catholics have a strong tradition of social teaching, contains all of us to be actively engaged in building up our communities. This has been achieved by involved in a political process. Yet today, many of us shy away from such involvement because of our national and local conversations are filled with heart language and virile language and are directed at people themselves. When personal attacks are replaced, when personal attacks replace honest debate and no one wins. This kind of attack, no matter what reason, only serves to further divide our communities. What is needed is civility, and civility means good, honest, civil dialogue. It means that we treat each one worthily as being at the table, worthy of our respect. Word have been heard, in short, treating each other as neighbours. And that's most important for us to have in mind for the next four months, to be civil to each other. July is full of two main feasts for our parish. One is the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and that's where we have our Carmelites come and pray and they are contemplative people who pray every Friday in our church and in the adoration and also we have the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel where we come on that day we pray to Our Lady of Mount Carmel for the gift of prayer and the gift of her protection through the brown scapular. The other big feast day is the feast of our patron Saint Anne, which falls on a Sunday this year. 
And because we didn't have Sunday of a Thousand Roses, this year we're going to have a rose for St. Anne. And you'll find about the brochures in the Nartics when you come to church. Some of them will have received this by mail, but most of us will get it in the Nartics for the Feast of St. Anne. So please pick up one when you're at Mass on Sunday. So these are the two main things happening. Now, the final thing I want to tell you is that this week we welcomed our Faith Formation Director and Youth Minister. It's all in one this year. So she's going to be our Faith Formation Director and Youth Minister, Samantha Dresrell. And therefore in July, after we come back after the Independence Day, we'd have registration for the new formation year. Our final Sunday for First Holy Communions and Confirmations will be on July the 11th, the Makeup Sunday. And Samantha will be there and, and she'll be here most weekends if people would like to talk to her. So starting on, uh, starting on, the, on the 13th of July, we'll have registration for the new Faith Formation Year. For, for July, our office is going to be closed on Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the office will be closed all the Sundays of July and we will open on Sunday on the 2nd of August if, if the coronavirus settles down. And I need to, for you to pray that COVID-19, which has been increasing in Florida for the last week, hits its maximum and begins to ease out again. And, and we want to pray for the young people who it's hitting this time, not the elder people. It's hitting the young people and the young people take seriously social distancing, wearing masks and washing their hands. Because that's very important. And we need to teach our children to wash their hands and to social distance. Now we have to pray. So let's pray a prayer for religious liberty and as we celebrate our Independence Day on the 4th of July. In the name of the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. O God our Creator, from your provident hand we have received our right to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. You have called us as your people and given us the right and the duty to worship you, the only true God and your Son, Jesus Christ. Through the power and working of your Holy Spirit, you call each of us to live out our faith in the midst of the world, bringing the light and the saving truth of the gospel to every corner of the earth. We ask you to bless us in our vigilance for the gift of religious freedom. Give us the strength of mind and heart and soul to ready to defend our freedoms when they are threatened. To give us courage in making our voices heard on behalf of the rights of our church and the freedom of conscience of all peoples of faith. Grant we pray, O Heavenly Father, a clear and united voice to all your daughters and sons gathered in your church. In this decisive hour in the history of our nation, so that when every tribe is stood, every danger overcome, for the sake of our children, our grandchildren, and for all who come after us, this great land will always be one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy Independence Day.